Today on Ikenaz Armory, how to build a really quick and dirty body cord tester. Stand by. Okay, so um, this was asked of me on, I think it was Fencing Subreddit a while back, Someone wanting to know how you can build a quick and dirty, dirty you know, um, body guard tester. There are commercially available uh, weapon testers. Hang on, where, where'd it go? There we are. That, you know, you plug into and they give you a, a lighter note. It's called a go, no go box. For example, I got, put us in epi mode and you'll see that's an epi. And for, and for foil, Different color light, but this is a simple. That's a simple go no go box. All it does is show if the circuit and the weapon works. It doesn't tell you about the body cord. You can buy a Favero tester, about yay big, kind of expensive, um, and they do the job. But they're kind of hard to use at times, or you can get a drill test box. Like I've got, but some people don't want that. They want a quick and dirty thing you can just slap together, do at home, check your own body cords only. And that's what came with this. Uh, this is actually attached to a. Uh, ohmmeter and I'll show it in a second here also I'm doing that shot with these neat little glasses that have a camera right in the bridge so I'm gonna try and not move ahead too much give it a test drive let's see what happens okay so here's the test rig as you can see it is very very basic we have a wooden plank we have a epi socket a two pin and a bayonet foil socket a couple lines going to a very short terminal block and then these are screwed into the block going to the meter so you notice it's only one wire connected from the lead from the block here. We have one lead going to the B pin, B receiver on the epi socket only. This side goes from that, rec that uh, receiver over to the B screw on the Leon Paul. Then from there also goes over to the C receiver on the foil socket, and then from the C down to the bracket, so it's on, so it's grounded. Um, and the reason is so we only have one mirror to worry about. There's no rotary switch. Uh, it's very easy, very quick to put together. It's kind of slab that does the job. So here's how you use it. Let's say you're going to test an epi cord. You're not going to plug it in this way, not for the A-line. For the A-line, you're going to flip it around. You put it so the A-line is in the B receiver, then B is in the A receiver, and then C is going to hang off the side. And that means you put the other A-line into that receiver where the wire is connected, and boom, there's your light. Do your wiggle test, pull it out. You go to the B-line. Pull the the uh, epi one out, flip it around, put it in normally. Put the B pin in that side. Okay, you have continuity. I want to show you something is A has no continuity. B does. C does not. So the line's isolated. Test C. Flip it around. Put it so the C line is in there. Those the A's hanging off the end. And then C line here. Boom. There you go. Now for a foil cord. Get a German cord. Same methodology on the the A test, but the clips and a clip on here somewhere. There you have it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pull it off. Flip it around for the B. Plug this in. There's your B. And for C, same thing here. Here's your C. And if you use bayonet, again, the same procedure for A, B, and C. The difference, of course, being that uh, the bayonet goes from here. There's connection for B and C. So it's it's a quick, dirty one. Uh, I would not take it with me on a trip unless I had it in a project box. If I was to make this as a more current thing, in addition to a project box, I'd have these on by a solder lug so they wouldn't come off and I'd have a, a bit neater connection I have a better connection here this is a little bit loose um, but it does the job but this is the um, the, the quick slap dash be at works uh, tester for body cords if you don't feel like buying the Favero one or um, or, or more elaborate box like I've got there you go good luck as always happy armoring